Wow, this is the last time I might be wearing this guy here. That's sad. Uh, <clears throat> is there a swim up? For, for leaders? <laughs> for leaders? Uh, that's a good question. Oh, I get a new one of these things. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm not taking this off. Like, you're not supposed to take that off. Like, that's to show that I'm also oh. know the beaver. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I guess uh, I guess we could start. We have uh, we have uh, the uh, the required uh, uh, amount of leader, right? And uh, so, hey John, would you like to take? Would you like to start off? Oh, fine. Someone take it on. So, what do we do first? Do we do river banks? All right. And I don't know if I can this is Chappy no, This is Build It Down. Yeah. Hold hands. Hold hands. When you see it. Well, I'm slipping, okay? Yeah. Yeah. And now we do chopping positions. But I'm not. <laughs> and who wants to start? Who uh, are uh, we? Me. And Man, what, what do we do? We do? Beavers, 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 sharing, 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 sharing. All right. Hey, oh, All right. I do. I'm wondering why I'm looking there. Um, I'm looking at the TV because, like, uh, yeah, we got the big screen on. Yeah, so, like yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm not looking at the camera. I look over there. Oh, okay. Hey, there we go. <laughs> yeah. yes. All right, so uh, Julien, are you uh, are you ready to do your badge? Which badge would you like to do first? Um, which one do you want to do first? The environment or the world? Uh, what is it? Yeah, the world. Le monde. Le monde. You ready? So, what, do you want want to to tell, what do you want to tell the beavers about? Yep. Why did you want to do this badge? Because I wanted to go at lots of places in the world. Like, um, let me see. The place you want to go, that's number three. You would like to visit in the world. Japan. Japan and Mexico, Alaska, and Australia are his first pick yeah. of where he would like to travel in the world. Okay. Why do you want to go to Mexico? Well, because I I like to post I'm like, I want to see Mexico. Oh, mm -hmm. well, why would you like to go to Japan? Well, because there's like lots of drums. Uh, where did you see the Japan drum? On the big tower. Mm. They were playing at Epcot, right? Yeah. There was a show at Epcot with a big, big, huge drum. Mm. So you went and, and saw, saw the pavilions in Epcot for these countries? Mm. Oh, do you yeah. have a question there? Yes, you saw Echo? the pavilions in Epcot for these countries. That's why you want to go and visit them? Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. So now we can't just go in one place and visit all the places. He actually wants to go to the real places. Um, a lot of those countries are very nice. Mm -hmm. What else did you see at Epcot? Because that's your first box at Epcot. Epcot. We saw Germany. Mm -hmm. Like on this page, right? They're not like all the places on in Epcot that they. Build it. It's well. I put it some of them, and some of the, the some of them are like Germany. Mm -hmm. uh, what's this one? It, it, right next to Germany, we wrote caramel because that's what you ate in Germany. Yeah. Very good um, caramel from the German. And Canada, mm -hmm. there was like a kind of like a kind of like movie, but some like not sure, but like a kind yeah. of like. Yeah. Film, yeah, it's a big, it's a the, the big film, the 360, they call it. Exactly. Yeah. And there's also, He's lucky because he saw the and, old movie and the new movie. Yeah, and oh, there's, wow. And there's the Japan one. 
that, and that's that the had drum. the drum. Mm -hmm. Right. <clears throat> you know what the, those drums are called? They're called Kaiko drums. I have a friend who, uh, who plays them and he played, played them for the prime minister. It's actually Robbie's uh, godfather uh, plays uh, the, the Japanese drums. Oh, wow. Lucky uh, Robbie. Well, we yeah. know that Robbie likes music, right? Yeah. And yeah. uh, in Canada, the 360, uh, my godfather is, is in the, the Canadian one. He plays uh, the harp. Oh. In the in the in the old uh, 360 the uh, as well. Is, well, not the first, but yeah, the version right. that we saw before. That's the the version he saw the most is that one. And then we went in March for the March break, and you saw the new version. Boy, you're lucky you got there before COVID. Just before. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, and then uh, and then you have Alaska there. Alaska. Oh yes, why would you like to go to Alaska? Oh. Like, because I want to see, like, the damage goes there. The what? I want to see, like, the damage goes there. What damage? Like, there's lots of, like, strong earthquakes, so I want to see the damage. Oh, you want to see earthquake damage. Mm. And I see your second adventure is that you like to read an atlas and that you know the continents. Yeah. Oh, do you know your continents? Uh, yeah. Hi, I know. Uh -huh. North America, Hi. South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, um, Australia, and Antarctica. Good job. Um, All right. So he actually the, got four different atlases. So it's, <laughs> it's something he likes wow. to look at. So which one of these adventures did you like the best? Do you, which adventure would you like the best? The one visiting oh. Africa? Being a different country, or would you What's your favorite? To see the real countries. Oh, Japan. Oh, oh, oh my countries. Oh. You'd like to go see the real what, countries. What would be your best adventure? To actually just visit Epcot, to read your atlas, or to actually go on a trip somewhere else in the world? Yeah, I want to go to Asia. He really wants to go to Asia. He wants to visit and go to Asia. So now we have to stop going to Disney and just <laughs> save our money forever till we make that trip. Right? Yeah. Oh, was there anything that you remember learning about the different countries when you went to the different pavilions in Epcot that you really enjoyed? Aside from Japan and Germany, was there any others? What else did you like uh, at Epcot? Oh, well, there's like a ride, there's like a kind of ride that's like in the ball of Epcot. It's like mm -hmm. Ship Earth, that's like mm -hmm. one of my favorite. Okay. So in so Ship to... Earth, what do you learn about? Oh, yeah. like, like when pa in the past and like it moves into the future. Like, mm -hmm. I know that all kinds of stuff. Oh, wow. Lots of stuff to learn. Yep. None of the other Was there anything that you could, uh, any questions you had, uh, Rascal? Oh, those are great. I, I, you know, my favorite, uh, Epcot is the best place to go because you get a flavor of everything. <laughs> and also the, uh, the food is authentic everywhere you go. It's actually better than some places <laughs> in the actual world that you do go. You know, which There's is always shocking. Fish and chip, eh? Yeah. Where do we eat fish and chip? I know where, yeah. Yeah, so, well, where in Epcot do we get fish and chip? What country? Uh, no. Where do we get fish and chip? Yeah. Uh, I remember where, but I forgot the name of the restaurant. Yeah, me too. It's in the United yeah. Kingdom. Yeah. Right it's, next to Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Course, yeah. Yeah. No, they're called chips in England, Robbie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to see. I want to see what. what He's also love reading maps, so that's not something that he. Uh, oh, no. oh, that's good. Yeah. 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 Everything at Epcot is really great to to find because they have uh, big pictures. You know what's connected to what. It's great. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. We usually fall asleep to France. So this year is the first time you actually saw France. Because that usually to be the nap time. France was always a nap time, but now they got to see it this night. This oh, night. Nice. Which is always wanted to see the Eiffel Tower. 
Eiffel Tower, right? Yeah. And so, but it's not the real one. It's just a miniature version. That's another dream of Julien, to go to Paris and see the real Eiffel Tower. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. When he saw Robbie do his trip, uh, he was very curious also. because of, Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Robbie go on a trip, huh? Yeah. He's just very lucky. <laughs> yeah, we like to post those. Places. Hmm? We like to share those. We post them all the time. Uh -huh. All right. You look up, my love. Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, should we start the uh, the next batch, Julien? Okay. So what's your next badge? I can close the badge. Go. Next badge. Next badge. Oh, it's um the it's the environment one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Okay, so it's so we need to help the earth and make and make nature a healthy Speak up, love. Okay. Help nature. Yeah. You save the earth. Yeah. Okay. What do you like to do? Like, I went to like, I think um, I think uh, one a day ago, like no day ago, but like. One day, I went to like a kind of like forest, but it was like hidden. Okay. And then turn out the light. Wow. There's uh, like the there's a road, and there's a dead end with um a meadow field, and like there's a little hole in the middle field, and I found like a kind of lake, and there was a big path, and and like we went some kind of thing. Come forth, and it was like really good. What's the name of the forest? And it's like Ansal. The name of the forest is Ansalor. You saw so right, a right in our neighborhood. There's a, a little path that we we're able to go into Lansalom's woods, right? Yeah. And then Julien wants to take the scouts when the, he would like to be the leader and make you discover the trails he's discovered. Mm -hmm. What did you find in the woods? Oh. Um, what happened? What did you find in the woods? Oh. Flowers? Uh, let's see if I can put it close up. Oh, what I find in the woods? Uh, flowers? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what else? I can't want to read this. Because you're oh that and like lots and lots and lots of trees. Mm -hmm. He found over here. We have him looking at the um, what's growing on the woods. Yeah, mm -hmm. the champignons. Mushrooms, probably. Yeah. Well, if you move all the pictures too fast, you won't. Okay. You remember this? Um. Yeah, it's kind of plants. Yeah, the kind of plant. It's a fern growing, right? Mom, can you get some mm -hmm. water? After you finish talking. Oh, what else did you see? I got a bird. Birds, lots of birds. Right, we have some pictures of birds. Oh, you're not dying. <laughs> <laughs> Your second adventure, Julien, was that you planted some some seeds. Did we plant seeds? Um, yeah, but not in the forest. Can we sit up, please? I'll get you water. Oh yeah. yeah. Were they are they growing now, or are they still you just still don't see them? Yeah, we still see them. Okay. What kind? What did you plant? Oh, I planted like maple trees. I find them. I mostly find them in um in the um, kind of thing that when we drop it, it twirls. Oh, okay. And did you plant any vegetables and fruit? Um, yeah. We got some in our garden, and we got it tomatoes. Um, mm -hmm. my may my is the corn. Corn and cucumbers, tomatoes, and carrots. Oh wow. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, you're really soif. Oh, 
Uh, nice. So we have a nice garden. We, I think we have some pictures of the garden. Right in there. Right. Ah, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, that's not the garden. That's so that's when he was planting in the house. Okay, the little seedlings, and he watered them. Good. Mm -hmm. And then that's outside in the garden. That Just to help out, we got a few tomatoes started. So some of them do have leaves. Okay. And the corn was our the corn was our, the corn we managed to grow inside and it planted outside. Huh? And that's not the corn, but oh, you saw a ladybug. Want to tell them about your ladybug friend? No. no? Uh, okay. Oh, uh -huh. sorry. No. Mm -hmm. So, Julianne, I see that you learned how to that there what plants in that need. Do you remember what a plant needs to grow? What yeah, is... sun, dirt, water, and air. Oh, very good. And we also need patience. Lots of patience. <laughs> okay. okay. What did you like better? Did you enjoy going for the walk and seeing the trees and the flowers naturally, or did you enjoy planting them and trying well, to grow them yourself? I most I like going to the forest, but like every time, um, mommy wants to go back, so I don't have time to explore. Oh, okay. Well, so we, you know, we can go for an hour in the walk, and we never go far enough. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> that's true. So we told them this summer we would take a picnic and stuff and go far, far. Yeah. Well, then, like, was lots of paths that we didn't go. We haven't done all the paths, so we'll have to go more often. Yeah. So you enjoy going for hikes and learning about nature? Yeah, but like there's only like one path to get on the other side. To get on the new path. Okay. Oh, there's many more, more than one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, anything else you can think of, Roscoe? Yeah, I was just uh, wanted to make a comment. Uh, you know, it's unusual for uh, for kids uh, at that age to get into the gardening so much. You know, uh, a lot of kids don't have the space to do gardening as well. Um, and, uh, and 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 you know, it's really it's really nice because. It really shows that uh, Julien, that you're in the right the right place. Because scouters, they really uh, they they know a lot about nature. They're always in harmony with nature. They always try to be in harmony with nature. So it's always a, a good thing to to learn a, a, about our natural world. You know, it's not only the animals, but also the 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 fauna and the plants, the mushrooms and everything as well. Hmm. He has transplanted some uh, some little plants too that he had the. At home, um, c'est quoi une plante araignée? I don't know in English, but you know it. it spider makes, plant. Hmm? Spider plant. So, so they make little babies. So he's he his spider plant has grown enough that it made babies, and so he planted like he made them grow uh, roots, and then he transplanted them. Uh, oh, there was the other plant that we had too. It was uh, aloe, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, he went into the pool and there was just too much chlorine in the pool. Oh. So he's having a a little bit of problem in the pool. But this is uh, on one of his walk, he found a paw print frozen in the dirt. Oh, nice. At, like at the beginning of uh, spring. So. That's a bear. And then they, it wasn't a bear because it's the size of a. a five-year-old hand right six-year-old <laughs> so we followed it and we we're able to, to track it quite far to you know we were trying to see if we could catch the animal but we didn't catch the animal but we followed the path we saw a bird's nest right and oh in the wood he found a big old bone oh wow yeah trying to guess what kind of bone it is Mm. But you know, so are you keeping it? Julien yeah, thinks it's a chevreuil, you know, like a, a deer. Mm. But, oh, yeah, that makes sense. It's pretty big, but mm. it could be anything. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, uh, what else did you? Oh, he's 
he's feeding the birds too, which is part of nature, right? Oh, right. He's feeding the birds. Mm -hmm. He loves to see if he could get as close as he can to a bird. So he's, he usually walks quite quietly to see if he can get close to one. Anything else I forgot, Julien? Did I forget anything? Can you come on the couch, please? Come on the couch. So they can see you, because right now they see the couch. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, sit up for two minutes. Come on. There you go. Two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Five minutes. Oh. So, you have other questions? No. No. Maybe they have questions for you. Or Patrick might have a question, or Manya might have a question. Does Hawkeye have any questions for Julian about his Earth Beaver bag? Well, considering I joined just, just as he was finishing, I wasn't able to catch the beginning, so I don't think so for the moment. Oh. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey. Uh, hey, Hawkeye. I was going inter in, in, to introduce you, but you introduced yeah. yourself as great. As, well, Julien was, was busy presenting. I didn't want to interrupt, so right, right. I good. figured we'd wait for a good moment. <clears throat> well, I guess we could start Patrick now. You ready, Patrick? Well, no, we're going to do the after. Where's Thunder? Oh, he couldn't uh, make it tonight. Nope. Hi. That's just too bad. Is it very um, oh, he's busy. busy. It's, yeah. it's getting it's harder. Is his birthday or something like that? Yeah, yeah so something, family something. Yeah. yeah, a nice family event, if I yeah, remember yeah, correctly. Yeah, because everything gets canceled in the past, so. Yeah. Yeah. And, and is it this the reason why this is the last evening too? Because it's getting to be springtime and. Yeah, I mean, this was even uh, as let's like as the world was normal. Next it week would have been uh, gone camping. Okay. Uh, like it would have been the end, and our barbecue would have been after that. So we're still following the old schedule. Okay, so there would have been a camping and then a barbecue yeah. and then the yeah. summer for the uh, and we yeah, meet yeah. again in the September, I guess, right? Correct. That's the that's that's what we all hope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But not me though. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Robbie's swimming up. All right, Patrick, you're doing well. Your we'll, well, we'll have to do all the swim ups and whatnot in the fall. Yeah, yeah. Which is great. I, yeah. I look forward to those. So we'll we'll take care of that with our with our group uh, uh, yeah. group commission. And everything. We'll we'll start off the year with the barbecue, maybe. Yeah. That's yeah. a good idea. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, Patrick. We got ten minutes left. Uh, I think that's enough time for Patrick. Okay. I think you're presenting for your your science one, Patrick. Yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what do you want to tell them? Um, you put the phone car. Um, I put the a, a phone car. Well, his first adventure for it was the phone car that we all did together. Yeah, I remember that day. That Easter was day. that was my last meeting. I was at, if I That's remember right. correctly. <laughs> yeah, you're the one who got the foam cars. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then his second one was we went to the planetarium to learn about the Northern Lights. We saw a video on that, right? Wow. And we learned about the planets in space while walking around. Yeah. Yes, that was a couple of months ago. Couple of months. Okay, then I'll cut one hundred thirty-three. And 133,000 years old. Bad. And I know you're excited for the third adventure because you want to show it to us, right? Yeah. So what is it? <laughs> it's a lava lamp? Yeah. So in a bottle, there is water and oil. The oil sits on top of the water. We'll add... <laughs> Can I do it? I'll do this. Aww. We'll do a few drops hey, no of food coloring. <laughs> and I'll let you put in the alka <laughs> It's a lava lamp or a volcano? <laughs> uh, no, it's more of a lava lamp. Oh. Okay, you gonna call that in? Oh my god. No, it's not Mentos, Robbie. No, it's not Mentos. <laughs> that would be an explosion. Yeah, that would be something else. Oh yeah, look at that. You know it should mix together and we'll get red. Everywhere. 
That's crazy. Look at that. That's even doing anything. Yeah, it is. Slowly. Patrick, do you know what type of bubbles those are? Nope. <laughs> it's the same type of bubbles that you get in a soda drink. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want to put another one in? Oh, boy. Okay. Wait! It's just to help it. Yeah. Just saying. Oh, yeah. Just saying. No. Yeah, that's working. Well, Bento's because you're violent. Yeah. You get some cool design sometimes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We had to do a couple tries to make sure we got the right consistency. Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay, so, bye. No, I think Russell's going to ask you some questions. <laughs> So, um, so do you still have your uh, your foam car? Yeah, it's somewhere. Uh, yeah, it's somewhere. <laughs> you don't know. Yeah. You know uh, that that thing is uh, works on batteries, and uh, when Robbie did his tech thing, you know, it, electric cars are everywhere now. So, you know, that's going to be the future. It's going to be it's going to be powered by batteries, and, and it's very exciting. <laughs> yes, yeah, I already well, have Hawkeye. one. Yeah, yes. Hawkeye has one. Yeah, he when I zip by. Roscoe's house, it's all quiet. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Patrick, we didn't hear you. Remember the time when I when we just built it and I didn't and then it and then and then me and Rascal had to put some tape on it because it kept falling off and parts. Yeah, it's okay. Oh yeah. That was a dangerous idea. Okay, well, I will. Nope. Wait, wait, I don't think wait. I don't think Rascal's done asking questions. <laughs> now the other thing was uh, the planets. Did you know that in the night sky you can actually see the planets? What? Yeah, the uh, Mars is uh, the most noticeable one because it's it's slightly red, and it's always in a different part of the sky. There's apps to see uh, where it is, um, and then there's other planets too, like Jupiter and Venus that you can't see, but Mars is like really noticeable. Yeah. yeah. We'll show you pictures of what we saw and when we saw the northern lights. If I can find them, I can. But until then, Rascal, if he has any other questions, can ask you and he can answer. Yeah. And uh, I think we all really liked the the lava lamp. That was uh, that was a great experiment. Where did you uh, Where did you find out uh, how to do that? Uh, website. I can send you the link. There's got a whole bunch of different. Uh, Experiments that you can do with great. It's fabulous. I have, an, I have an important question for you, Patrick. When you oh. went to the planetarium and you saw the, the the show about the northern lights, was it in the chairs or the bean bags? Oh yeah. Oh my god, what is it with the beanbags? You worked in the bean bags. No. No? Well, if ever you get to go back to the planetarium, one of the two theaters there. You actually lie down on bean bags and look up at the nice curved ceiling. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. That's inside of the theater. Yeah. The 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 other one is is uh, instead of having the the projector oh. in the middle of the theater, it's actually I think uh, outside projected in. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -mm. Not a, a, the the effect isn't quite the same. This is what. This is what. The, the northern lights. Oh, nice, yeah. It's green and that's mm -hmm. right. You know, I would have to say 25 years or so ago, I saw the northern lights in Point Claire. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. Yeah, uh, my friend Glenn, who was, an, uh, who was someone I met in scouting as well, his birthday is on Halloween, and we were at his place in Point Claire, and uh, we saw the the Northern Lights. You hear that? And then, then a a week later was Thanksgiving, and we went to Camp Tamarcuda, which is just north of Montreal, and we saw them again that year. Wow! Wow, they must have been really powerful that okay. year. Yeah. Fabulous. Is that your important question? I know the important question was the bean bags. <laughs> okay, bye. Are you done? So what he said was something that he was talking about. All right, fabulous. That was great. By yeah. the way, for people that uh, want to see stars even not going far from home, just going to the Morgan Arboretum is almost all the difference you need. It's just that much darker at night that you see the stars so much better. 
Oh, you just have to go to the parking lot. Yeah. There's even a, a telescope there that some uh, astro astronomical society uses. Um, really? We actually, we actually looked everywhere, and we went into Northern Light today. Times. Yep. Yeah. So last year's. <clears throat> Hello. Last yeah. time, Julien yep. did go see uh, at the Morgan Arboretum, Arboretum and the, the, there was one night where they set up all the different uh, uh, telescopes, mm -hmm. and he went and looked in them. Remember you saw Cassiope that, that mm -hmm. weekend? Remember? I didn't see the Northern Lights. You've never seen the Northern Lights, though. Like, you stuck on your idea of seeing the Northern Lights. You would like to do that. But he's he's been to. It's, a, it's, it's true. It's a good place to go. And they do have a... A telescope set up to see on very nice nights, right? But you have to be lucky. It has to be no clouds. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. So they do a session, I think, in the winter where they invite people to come. Oh wow. So uh, I guess uh, with the last four minutes, uh, Robbie wanted to to show something. First of all, huh? I want to show his his uniform, what it looks like. So this is what the uniform looks like. When you have all the badges. Oh wow! Yeah. This side is not complete. Yeah. So he's got all the uh, he's got all sixteen, and uh, you'll notice I had to I, I had to take this off and move it there because uh, it wouldn't fit the last badge. Yeah. So that's something you have to do. Uh, and now we have three minutes left, and I wanted to show something that I know Mania might like. I'm going to unmute Mania because we keep going back to her. There we go. Okay. So I uh, I had to choose. Uh, a scout knife. Robbie had a scout knife, um, and uh, and so I, I decided what what kind of knife am I going to have? And so finally, I chose a knife that Mania might like. Ooh, yeah. oh my it's a special God. knife. Yeah, Robbie yeah. really likes it. Yeah. So does anybody know the what the name of this this knife is? Oh, I know. Sword. No. Nope. Huh? Mania, do you know what this this is called? This is uh this is called the kukuri. kukuri knife. Yeah, a kukuri knife. Uh, the the He's Gurkhas. The the Gurkhas, uh, the the British regiment, and also the uh, other Gurkhas and other armies like in India, and they they uh, this is the knife that they have, and uh, they're from Nepal, and in Nepal, th this reminds them of their of their homeland, the the, the mountain peak. Ooh. It's extremely heavy. This is really good uh, for cutting and also for uh, kind of like a machete. And then this part here is very similar to a sickle. So you can actually harvest wheat with this, you know, the same way that you can with a sickle. Uh, what happens, it'll run up against a knife and it'll cut it. Uh, how much time do I have? I have two minutes. I also have uh, two other knives in the, in the sheath. Out. And these are good for, for skinning uh, animals. Robbie, talk about your ski and do. So this is a Scottish knife that, um, you know how they would have a kilt, socks, uh, other things like that. Yeah, so, so ski and do. Uh, yes. Patrick, you would know this because you got married with a kilt. So did I. It means uh, it means black knife, and you wear it in your sock. Yeah. And the Scots also have another knife, and this is the <laughs> ultimate camping knife. I'm it's called a, a dirk, and it's a it's like a triple dirk. It's got the big massive knife. Oh yeah, like this here. It also has very fancy camping knives. It's got a little knife here that fits there, and it's got a little fork. Yeah, and I would I, I would wear that. I wore this at my wedding. I uh, you wear it right beside your sporin. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, this is a very simple knife. It's basically the one that it was in my survival kit. So yeah. we're going to run out of time. So when we do, uh, it's, a, it's a goodbye from all of us. But this is Robbie's uh, last knife. Yeah. And uh, it's a shame we, we're running out of time because, Robbie, why don't you go get that knife right there? Which one? There's a knife right there. That thing. Yeah, bring that. Give me the whole thing. Are we going to see all the beavers in the fall? Either as beaver or cubs? Yeah. For what? This here oh. is Robbie's yeah. scout knife that I got to him now. Wait, it just wow. got here it now? It just got here today. He just hasn't seen it yet. 
so it's uh you know it's got the sheath and it comes out and 